Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about uh, recent critical vulnerability raised by Sidecore. So what is it and what versions is it impacting and how do we fix it? So I'll just try to answer those. I'm getting a lot of questions on this. I think the reason was uh, last year I had, I did the similar video for one of the critical vulnerability. I think that's the reason I keep getting a lot of questions on the recent one. So I'll try to um, cover most of the questions. And to be honest, this is the simplest fix compared to the previous one, the last year's one. But let's just check what are the basic things. So as we all know, CVRT definitions from Sidecore. So you have critical, high, medium and low. So first thing is, this is the recent one which is released on August 4th is a critical vulnerability. That's the first aspect. So it has to be applied immediately. And second aspect is what are all the products it is impacting. So it is impacting XM, XP and XC. So all the three major products and also irrespective of your hosting. So you might be hosting it on-prem or VMs or PaaS or containers, it impacts. And also, even if you are hosting with uh, Sidecore using Managed Cloud, it is impacted. So that's clarified. Okay, and what are the versions? It says 8.0 initial release. So it starts from 8.0 plus, which means the current version is 10.4. So all the versions from 8 to 10.4, it is affected. So that's clarified. And next thing is, okay, what are the roles it is affected? So let's go and see. It is in the FAQs. Does this issue affect all the XP's core server roles? Content delivery, management, reporting, processing, and EX dispatch. The issue impacts only content management and standard standalone roles. So we have a clear definition here, like content management and standalone. This is where a lot of questions I am getting. So as soon as you mentioned a CM, that's only for the content management, which is not ideally publicly uh, accessible, even for the production environment, you will have a fire, it would be firewall behind, ideally. A standalone means 99% of the case, none of the clients will host their uh, instance or their implementation or site core on a standalone. So they will at least split into CM and CD roles, the bare minimum so that the traffic and everything gets uh, loaded properly and uh, but usually standalone if you are installed in sidecore in your local that would be a standalone because your local uh, one system is acting as a cm cd and all these things and also maybe uh, very lower environments so that's what standalone standalone obviously includes your cm so that's why it is impacting there as well and let Let's go and see what is a fix. So if they are fixing, all they gave is a zip file. So one side could support DLL and one side could support configuration. So if we place these two files, it depends on how you are managing hotfixes in your solution. So you might be using a version control. Uh, sorry, you might be using a hotfix folder, something like that in a version con in your version control and a deployment task will be in your um, CD, sorry, in your continuous delivery, you may, your deployment task might be just pulling that folder and deploying it to CM or CD or whatever the roles. Or you might be having a separate folder structures inside, then that's fine as well. But a lot of people have this question is, okay, now they said like only FX in CM, what happens if it gets deployed to CD? Because I only have one task in the deployment and one hotfix folder. I don't have a differentiation or separation to CM and CD. Ideally, this is completely fine because uh, let me open that configuration. So all the configuration is already mentioning it's site core role request standalone or content management. Even if you deploy this file in processing server or content delivery server, any other, I mean, content delivery app or processing or reporting, it will not get applied because the role it is asking only for standalone or content management. If you are on a content delivery role, obviously that role is content delivery, it will not be applied. So that is a big difference. So please 
don't stress so much on this file only to be available on cm okay do i need to change all the devop uh, devops process or anything e even if this file is present on the cd it will not have any impact so that's a major question i am getting everyone like asking okay does it have any impact on other things if you already have a separation of cm and cd under your hotfix folder in your version control then that's completely fine because you are only deploying a files which are required to individual servers individual cm or roles so that should be fine as well uh, and some are asking testing instructions but even i am not dwelled so much into testing instructions because they already provided uh, they don't want to i mean they already provided explanation that it's not possible due to security reasons they don't want to expose this so that everyone uh, knows how to exploit this and all so you just apply these two files in your way of deploying your solution so however you are deploying whether you no know, no automated manual deployment tasks what tasks you have so use that process and deploy it and have a peace so that's all for this video a quick and short one to just clarify on this uh, critical vulnerability thank you for watching see you next time